Hi, I'm DeMarcus Childress with Linux Industries. I'm the Commercial Product Service Coordinator, and this is my colleague, Brandon Hartstein. I'm the Field Application Consultant. And today we're going to explain to you the differences between cleaning the two-row tube and fan condenser coil and the Linux Environment Coil System. The tubes that are required to clean a tube and fan condenser coil will be the pump-up sprayer, coil cleaner, nozzle, needle nose pliers, two drills, two technicians, a water hose, and there might be a situation where you might need a pressure washer depending on the amount of dirt that's on the coil and also the water supply. If your water supply is downstairs off the roof, then you definitely would need a pressure washer. And last but not least, let's not forget our safety equipment, our goggles and our gloves. Prior to starting the cleaning process, you want to ensure that the unit is turned off using a lockout and tagout procedure. Okay, what you want to do is first pre-soak the coil with water prior to applying the cleaner. After pre-soaking the coil with water, you want to remove the top panel. This is why it requires two technicians to remove the panel on the tubing fin. You want to mix the coil cleaner with the water according to the directions on the container. Most importantly, you want to use the appropriate type of coil cleaner that's compatible with the roofing material. Now you can see where I'm having to split the condenser coil for the two row tubing fin. That's how you properly clean a unit, which is time consuming. You want to spray the condenser coils with degradable coil cleaner, spraying the coils on both sides, allowing the, the coils to soak for five minutes. Also, you want to spray cleaner on the inside of both coils. What you want to do now is remove the coil cleaner and dirt with water after it's been setting for five minutes. Use hose to gently spray, rinsing the coil from inside out. Once you've cleaned the tube and fin two-row condenser coil, you want to fasten it back to the unit. Then you want to reinstall the top cover. And lastly, after you finish cleaning the uh, tube and fin condenser coil, we want to return the unit to normal operating conditions by turning the power back on. Now I'm going to introduce to you on how to clean the Linux environment coil. The tools that would be needed to do this, first of all, you only need one technician. Most importantly, safety goggles and gloves, nozzles, and water hose. There might be a situation like in restaurant applications where you would need to use some type of cleaner. We recommend using Triple D cleaner on restaurant applications, and also you might need a pressure washer. Prior to the cleaning procedure, you want to ensure that the unit is turned off using the lockout and tagout procedure. The good thing about having the Linux environment coil on your roof is that it's a lot easier to clean compared to the tubing fan. In restaurant applications, you want to use some type of cleaner such as Triple D that's qualified to where it won't destroy the coil. If you're not in restaurant applications, you can definitely just use water, spraying it on there, outside in or inside out. You do not have to remove the top cover. Now you got to keep in mind that whenever you spray this environment coil, there might be a situation where you might have to use a, a pressure washer if there's no water supply on the roof. But if you do use a pressure washer, be sure not to exceed 900 PSI. That way you won't damage the environment coil. After completing the cleaning procedure for the Linux environment coil system, you want to return the unit to normal operation. The key takeaways here from looking at the cleaning process for the condenser coil, tube and fin style versus the Linux environment coil. For the tube and fin style condenser coil, it requires two technicians, more coil cleaner. Also, it is more complicated to service. Versus the Linux environment coil system, you only need one technician, no cleaner needed, only in restaurant applications, also, it is easier to service. 